In this video, we will see how we can attach auto scaling group to our clusters of ECS. So uh, let's try with that. Before uh, while going through this process, let me address you how do we do that uh, along with that. How do why do we do that? So auto scaling group can be auto scaling service can be attached to this uh, cluster for scaling up or scaling down in in terms of task or in terms of ec ec2 instances uh, by applying a uh, lot of lot of rules or or i say policies uh, so if i have to increase the number of tasks so i can do that by updating my service and increase the number of tasks by from this feed mm -hmm. or if i want to um, attach auto scaling group with my service or with my cluster what do i have to do i have to update again my service and go to the next step go to the next step and choose the other option which is configure service auto scaling to adjust your service desire count i can uh, uh, tell what the number of tasks i want to have is two the maximum number of tasks four desired number of tasks is two uh, then next update so if i go to my um, if I go to my, what do I say? Auto scaling group. I can see I have the option of defining uh, the minimum number of tasks, the maximum number of tasks, the, num the desired number of tasks. But I don't have any option of defining the number of instances I do want. So for that, um, uh, in ECS we can we can use the concept of capacity provider. We can create a new capacity provider as demo scaling policy as auto scaling group I just have which I have just created manage scaling uh, enable total say let's say I'm defining a scaling policy whereas if my uh, CPU utilization reaches more than 50, reaches 50 percent then scale up or scale down depends uh, depending on the situation then it is saying okay let me disable it it is done let me go to the my uh, capacity capacity provider now I'll try by going to my give me a second auto scaling group here i have specified the number of desired capacity as this, here I can now uh, scale up or scale down the number of instances I want so for doing that as the desired capacity as 2 maximum 2 and minimum 1 update I'll go but I see this uh, maximum minimum desired would occur only when I would reach a certain level as in I have defined that reach 50% then only have uh, two EC2 instances here I can scale down and scale up here the running tasks are two but the EC2 instance is one only so on screen no, no so I have not reached 50% so for reaching the 50% what do I do I'll update my service to have three number of tasks So minimum uh, number of tasks is two. Desired I have increased to three. Maximum is four. Let me go. Let's wait for a while. My changes should start coming. The desired number is three here. Okay, I can see the three tasks. What do you have to see? So what was happening if you guys have noticed that I was seeing only one uh, EC2 instance with uh, 200 around uh, CPU utilization left so which, which was reaching my scaling policy I have defined in the capacity provider uh, more than 50% so in that case uh, one EC2 instance has been added and my new task has been allocated to that EC2 instance 
I can see the uh, the, the, the the new third one is allocated to this EC2 instance. So uh, for concluding this video, there is no direct way of in, uh, in scaling up or scaling down the EC2 instances in the ECS cluster. So we can make use of this capacity provider to scale down or scale up based on the set policies or set conditions um, in the cluster. So that is it.